Now, there is uh, what the Clinton campaign is describing as good news for them uh, on the ongoing email saga. You see the State Department has been combing through documents they received from the FBI looking for files connected to the Benghazi attacks. Out of 15,000 documents, the State Department says they found just one that should have been turned over in an earlier records request. Our justice reporter Paula Reed is tracking this story now. Okay, Paula, explain this. How is this a significant development and what exactly did the State Department find? This is an incredibly significant development in Hillary Clinton's ongoing email saga. The FBI found in its criminal investigation that classified information was on her server, but they did not find that she or anyone on her staff intentionally mishandled it. That's why they didn't bring any charges. But during the course of that investigation, they found as many as 15,000 emails on her server. They found them forensically, pieces of emails that they put back together that had not previously been turned over to the State Department. And that opens up another line of inquiry. It's not for criminal charges, but it's for the public to really look at, well, why weren't these documents handed over? Were they not public records? Were they duplicates of things that were handed over? It really gets to another very important issue in this case, and that is, was this private server set up to get around private records requests? So here we get an answer on one, the Benghazi issues. There were lawsuits that were filed. People wanted documents related to Benghazi. The State Department went through these 15,000. They found one that should have been released, and it was a congratulatory note about her testimony before the Benghazi committee. So on this particular lawsuit, this is some rare good news for Secretary Clinton and does not support the notion that she set up this server to thwart public records requests. Now, while it can be described as good news for the Clinton campaign because of her uh, trustworthy issues, anytime you have a headline um, about emails, about kind of the uh, appearance of trying to hide information, it kind of works to confirm the characterization of Clinton as crooked Hillary that Donald Trump um, has pushed so hard. So what is next for this lawsuit or investigation? Is it the end of the road? Um, are there other paths of investigation that may rear their head in the weeks ahead? Absolutely. It's going to be a long road. As someone who's been covering this for a year, I can tell you there's currently 48 pending lawsuits related to these in, additional, in addition to congressional investigations. Wow. And the next focus will be on these lawsuits. They're going to have to go through all of them, Errol, and ask the same question. Hey, we didn't get these 15,000 emails. Was there anything in that batch that was responsive to this lawsuit about Huma Abedin's work at the State Department or about other things that Hillary Clinton worked on? They have to go through each of these lawsuits now and examine whether or not anything was intentionally withheld. And if it was, then again, that does support this notion, this theory that perhaps this private server was set up as a way to control what was made public. But the first answer we've gotten on any of these lawsuits had to do with Benghazi, and they only found one email. Paula, we know Clint's also facing scrutiny over a batch of emails that a computer specialist uh, had actually deleted those emails. Do we know that, you know, we know Republicans are actually going after a congressional subpoena was issued. Republicans are asking the U.S. attorney in D.C. to investigate those deleted files. What's the latest on that? In talking to sources at the Department of Justice, they make a good point. They're saying Representative Chaffetz, for example, um, he's looking at evidence from the FBI's report. He's getting most of his information from documents that were collected based on FBI evidence. So he's essentially asking them to re-examine their evidence. And this is something that the FBI opened themselves up to when they took the unprecedented step of having a press conference and releasing their work product in a case where charges weren't brought. You're opening yourself up to be second-guessed. Before Republicans to, to tell the FBI, hey, we see evidence of criminal wrongdoing. Presumably, if the FBI saw evidence of criminal wrongdoing in its own evidence, they would have charged or investigated further. So if Republicans want a new criminal investigation by the Department of Justice, they're going to have to find something new, some new evidence, some new document that didn't fall under the umbrella of the FBI's prior criminal investigation. Paula Reed, thanks for the update, Paula. Thanks, Paula.